Back in the 70s, Laos was still considered a communist country, and they had so much uh, civil unrest in that area um, that my, my dad just felt like it was better if we just went ahead and fled. My name is Lieutenant Colonel Noy Bori Boon Holbrook. I am the commander for the 41st Civil Support Team here in Louisville, Kentucky. I have been in um, the military service uh, for 30 years um, this year. Guards up and down that coast um, knew my dad as a fisherman. I guess one night it was time to go and my dad just acted like he was fishing. Nobody really questioned that and then and my dad knew exactly where to go. And that's how we ended up in a refugee camp. So when you're in the refugee camp, what they do is they write on chalk and they write your name and they, there's a number that's associated with you as an individual and then you as a family unit. And then they're just waiting. You're waiting for uh, a family to sponsor you. Late April of 1980, landed in California and then uh, took a flight from California into Chicago. I've been a journey ever since. <laughs> The way of uh, the Laotians, you, you typically already arranged marriage and set up, and then there's really no future um, past grade school, pretty much. I was a junior in high school, and the first recruiter that actually showed up at my doorstep was a National Guard recruiter. I offered a lot of things as far as like free tuition for um, in-state school, and, and so I went ahead and I took the opportunity I signed up in 1992, and then I didn't officially transfer to the Kentucky National Guard until I think 1996, 1997. Um, it's ironic because the Kentucky Guard, I can honestly say that Kentucky Guard has wonderful leadership. I mean, great leadership. That says a lot about the state. And so I think that's probably what made me hang around, um, the diversity as far as coming having to work with other people of different backgrounds. Um, and it's almost like a challenge when you work with people who don't have the same either educational background or experiences that you do. And the cohesion is a lot of what Kentucky gave me. You know, like we're all here. And the biggest thing is that, uh, you know, when challenges come our way, um, it's, not, it's not about how many times you you fall, it's about getting up and, and doing the right thing, but it's also bringing a sense of unity to get something done in a common goal. I don't know if that's cheesy. <laughs> it's not cheesy. So as long as you stay true to yourself and making sure that you, you keep within those, um, the boundaries of what you're given, I mean, the world's your oyster, you know? <laughs>